Okay, hello, hello, hello. It's Rhonda White here, lovelyluxco.com, and it is Super Tip Tuesday. So grab your lunch, grab your beverage, and we're going to get started. Grab a friend and watch along. Your invites are coming out now. So here we go. And give me a second. Okay, this takes just a few seconds here. Get this all underway. Line them up. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to show you how to get that glow. Now, you know one of, I'm going to push my hair back. One of my favorite products happens to be our illuminator. And we're talking about getting that special look for the holidays. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I did this side of my face. This side doesn't have it, anything on it yet. So put on the moisturizer, okay? Now, normally we go ahead and put on our Touch Glorious Face Primer. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take out our luminizer stick, the powder, the cream to powder, and I want you to just highlight, put it on there like three strokes. Go ahead and take out, hey Susanna, thank you for joining me. I want to show you this. Take this out, and you're going to put a little bit on here. Now, I'm not going to do this part of my face because I did it, so I'm just going to work on the cheek here so I can show you. So, put that on, put that on, right? You're going to smooth that over. I'm going to put it everywhere I haven't put my makeup on. But before I finish this upper cheekbone area, I'm going to take that Splash Striking, which is exclusive to November Kudos. I'm going to show you this. And just take just a little bit. doesn't take much, okay? I'm going to get a lot on there. And smooth that over. Now, it will give you that nice opalescent glow that you're looking for okay if you're trying to get away from pink then you might want to add a little hint of green maybe from our splurge cream shadows but it gives you that nice glow and we haven't even put foundation on okay that's just a natural nice healthy glow so this is what you do you are going to take out your foundation now i'm lighter in complexion if you're darker you may want to add a little bit more or put it on top i'm going to take out and that's kind of a lot my organza hey laura check out that beginning because you're going to see how you get that glow i'm going to show you what else you could do with this and it's really quick simple and easy okay now let's say you're finished putting on your foundation you put it all over your face woohoo Okay, you want to do your eyes. You're like, well, Rhonda, I want to spice it up for the holidays. How do I do that? I happen to have this right here that came in the presenter's kit, which I absolutely love. Okay, this is palette number two. Okay, so very easy to do. This is what you're going to take from palette number two. We're going to use romantic, blissful, and perplexed. Okay, romantic, Blissful and perplexed. That's what we're working with. So, taking Romantic, get it on the applicator sponge, and we just go lower lid right there, right underneath where the crease is. Now I'm going to take the next color, Blissful, okay, and I'm going to go right above, right above, but in that crease. It's another light color, okay? That's it. So we have this one. And that one up. Now we're going to go to this gray color right here. Okay. Take out your liner shader brush. And I'm going to use that liner portion. Get it in there. And it's a gray perplexed color. Okay. Go right into that crease. 
and I'm aiming towards that front of that brow and down and go ahead and put just a little bit underneath that lash line so you can find it. Okay, take that brush, turn it around and soften those colors just like that. So we already have our eye primer on, okay? We put on our palette number two, okay? And now we're gonna spice it up. So that's easy. One, two, three, boom, right? Now you could totally just wear it like this. You could put an eyeliner, but let's go a little extra, okay? And we're still not done. Take out your Splash Liquid Lipstick and Striking. One more time. Now remember, a little goes a long way. So I only got, that's it. I got that little teeny dots on there. That's it, okay? You might need two or three dots depending on how much you got on there on the first dab, okay? So it could be just one dab. Take out your cream shadow brush and just blend that right on top of that brow bone, kind of that right above the crease, right on that bone right there. Okay, see how I have this one? Just right there. Okay, now you may have a little more on this side, so I'm gonna try and make a match. I'll put another dot and just do one dot at a time till you get the right shade, okay, the right value and just dab that out. Now, to touch up that depth, take out that liner shader brush one more time and add just a little more gray in that crease. Okay, to really make that eye pop, like this one over here. Now you could tell we're not done, why? Because this eye over here has the black dip and draw. So let's go ahead and make a match like that. Wing it as much as you like or not at all. Okay, so you did that. Now, I prefer, you don't have to, take the black pencil eyeliner and go in that upper waterline right there. Done. Okay, now I want you to take this back out. This is amazing color. If you don't know it, I'm gonna show you how many different things you could do with it. This is your Super Tip Tuesday. So this right here is your liner brush, but I love it not only for your eyes, I get one just for my lips. This is for lip color, I use it. Hey, Erin, so take this out. You're gonna take a teeny tiny, just dot it, okay? Just a little bit, just get it on there. I want you to go to that lower lash line. Just rub it in. You know what? It's very overcast out here because of all the haze from the fog and my lighting keeps going back and forth with whatever's going on. I don't have, so I'm sorry if it looks like it's fluctuating. Okay, so you see that? Just rub it in there. If you need more to make it match, make it match. Just like that, okay? And add your Epic Mascara, but before we do that, I'm going to show you, let's, oh wait, no, here it is, got it, Epic Mascara. We're using black Epic Mascara today, and it's a really quick and easy process. Take out that wand, put it at those roots, press it in towards your lashes, press it inward, okay? Kind of like, see, you're pressing in to get that curl, just like we do on our hair, and then follow through, right? Follow through. Now, you could wear a little, you could wear a lot. That's a preference you choose. Get them to your liking, coat them. And slowly just let those lashes fall through that wand, okay? Now, most everybody buys black Epic Mascara, but we have black Epic Waterproof Mascara. We also have brown Epic, and right now exclusively, we have the Purple Violet Epic Mascara, okay? 
So yes, it is exclusive to the month of November in this month's kudos. I don't want you to miss it out because they will sell out. You know they will. It's purple. Okay, so we got our epic mascara on. Last thing you can do with this. Hey, Penny. So I wanted to show you. We did one, two, and three different things. One more thing. So go ahead and put it on as a lipstick, okay? I'm going to show you what we did on this side. Now, some of you are saying, well, Rhonda, I noticed you were wearing a lot of purples. Yeah, I have been. You can do this with your choice of any color you want, but I'm going to pull out today pink because pink is very popular and this is superb splash, okay? You could do this if you want the purples, go with the extreme dark side, which is screeching, go plummy, go showy. You could go with sensual, you could go with stately, you could go with, um, what is that? Sentimental, which is the orchid color. Right now we're gonna do the pink one. You could pick any of the colors you want. Take out that same liner brush, which we like to use for our lip lining. Take just a dot. I mean, look at that's too much. You see that? That is too much. I want you to see it, notice. So you're gonna take some of that off. Remember, it's a strong color and a little goes a long way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna line our lips, okay? And we're gonna bring it in. Now, why do we do this? Because one, it gives us versatility with our colors, and two, it's gonna tie in the entire look of having this striking color, but adding a little more pink. So if you wanna avoid some of the lavenders and you don't wanna go purple, you're gonna go more pink, and that's what we're doing. And we still have one more super tip for you. You gotta see this, okay? So don't leave yet. Take out, if you wanna hit it up with more pink, Lavish, lavish lip gloss. Hit that lip up right in the center. Add a little sparkly to that. Okay, now, last part of this super tip Tuesday you have to see. See this cheek? Okay, take out one more time your Splash Liquid Lipstick and Striking. It is exclusive to this month's kudos. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. About four dots, okay? Just about four dots. Now, I'm going to use, you could use your fingers, but take out, this is your contour brush. I'm gonna take that paddle side and we're gonna blend this off. Just with a tapping motion, okay? Hey, that's the doorbell, guess what? My Costco two-day shipping is here. I had to do groceries because um, it's way too uh, smoky outside for me to take heavy out. Yeah, everything's on fire. Look at that. And you're done. You're totally done. Shake out the hair. You got it tied in from the eyes, just a hint, to the cheeks, to the lips. Okay, so Super Tip Tuesday, if you have any questions, I'm here to help you. Don't forget, it's this month's kudos, exclusively striking, striking splash liquid lipstick. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Puppy's gone crazy.